Hi children, welcome back. In the previous class, we had learned how to construct two or more equal rhombuses. Today, we are going to learn how to construct a trapezium. First of all, we will discuss how to draw isosceles trapezium and following that, we will learn more about trapeziums. First question, draw an isosceles trapezium whose parallel sides are 7 cm and 4 cm and the equal sides are 3 cm each. First of all, let's draw a rough figure. So in this question, two parallel sides length are given that is 7 cm and 4 cm and the equal sides length is given as 3 cm each. Divide the isosceles trapezium into a parallelogram and an isosceles triangle. Okay, so with this idea, we can draw the figure. Draw AB 7 cm long and mark E on AB such that EB is equal to 4 cm. For that, using a ruler, measure 4 cm from B and mark the point as E. AB is equal to 4 cm because the length of the opposite side that is DC is equal to 4 cm. Then to find the point D by drawing arcs of radius 3 cm with the center E and A. Okay, so place the compass at the point A and as well as at the point E and draw arcs with the length 3 cm and join these two points. Next to find the point C, draw an arc of length 3 cm with the center B and then draw another arc of radius 4 cm with the center D. Now join all these points together and complete the isosceles trapezium. So this is the required isosceles trapezium with the parallel sides 7 cm and 4 cm and the equal sides with a 3 cm each. Second question, draw an isosceles trapezium with the two adjacent sides 6 cm and 3 cm and the angle between them 50 degree. First of all, let's draw a rough figure. So in the question, two adjacent sides length is given that is 6 cm and 3 cm and the angle between them is given as 50 degree. Using this, we can draw the figure. Draw AB with a 6 cm long and place the protractor at the both end points and mark 50 degree. First place the protractor at the point A and mark 50 degree. Then place the protractor at the point B and mark 50 degree. Join these two points with the dotted lines. Using a compass, measure 3 cm and Mark D and C on these lines after taking a distance of 3 cm from A and B respectively. Okay, so place the compass at the point A and draw an arc of radius 3 cm. Then place the compass at the point B and draw an arc of radius 3 cm. And darken the dotted lines which is 3 cm long and finally draw DC and complete the trapezium and erase the unnecessary lines thus we get the required trapezium with the adjacent side 6 cm and 3 cm and the angle between them 50 degree. In the next class, we will discuss more questions related to trapezium. That's all for today. Thank you.